Hi, this is Heather with Playa Palms Picks, and this is Don Chendo. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore. I'm here with Russell Granger, and Russell is from New York, but he actually makes a fantastic Chicago-style pizza, and he's going to show me how to do that right now. So the first thing we want to do is we've got a little oil in the pan, so we just roll the, the dough around and the oil, kind of like paint the oil onto the okay. bottom of the pan. We take our fingertips, and all we do is push down around the outsides to form the outer crust. Yours looks all way right? different and then, than mine. And then when you've got your crust formed on the outside, <laughs> take your fingers and push it down in the middle. And then just take your fingers and when you push down and spread your fingers. So, so once you have it all the way out to the outside like that, then what we're going to do is, is we bake a little bit of cheese right into the crust. Okay. Gonna, so now that we have our crust, what we're going to do is, is we want to pre-bake these a little bit okay. so that the crust starts to starts to cook so that then we, when we make the pizza, we're good to go. So okay. Let's, let's throw these into the oven. And then it's going to take a few minutes and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay. So what we're going to do here is, is I'm going to put a little layer of onions down on the bottom. Okay. And then we're going to put green and red peppers. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna just about fill this baby up with cheese, all right? Oh, yes. So rich and filling. This is even though this looks like a small pie, there's about a half a pound of cheese on this pizza. That is okay. a beautiful thing. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna take some of our homemade sausage oh. all the way around the top of the pizza. Okay. Go ahead. Can you cover for me on Saturday? Because <laughs> I, I think I have plans. I'm not sure what it is yet, but I have plans. Oh, okay. Well, I've lived in Playa del Carmen a long time, as you know, and uh, I like to celebrate the place that I live. And one of the ways that I like to celebrate is by eating good food. And I like to share my favorite places with people who are visitors who might not know the best place to go. And that's why I'm in at Don Chendo. Excellent. You ready for this? Now we're going to give this just a little sprinkle of oh, cheese. Oh, my word. Right, and then we're going to put a combination of Parmesan cheese and basil mm. on there. Yum. All right, so, yeah, so now what's going to happen is... is wait, 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 don't slam the it. The oven. All right. <laughs> so you notice we didn't put any sauce on the pizza. I did uh, notice. With, with a lot of Chicago-style pizzas, the, the pizza, the sauce actually goes on after it comes out of the oven. So now what we're going to do is we're going to spread that around a little bit. All right, and then we're going to give it the final garnish on cheese. I'm not sure what you guys are going to eat. This is all mine. Mm. That looks awesome. Oh, that looks good. Well, that looks good. Mm. Mm. So much cheese, homemade sausage. Crisp. The peppers are still crisp. The onions are still crisp and sweet. Homemade sauce. Can't do better than this. I am for it. How did you learn how to cook Italian-American food? I'm not Italian-American, but in my heart, I am Italian-American. And, and uh, mo uh, most of my training is with grandmothers, be it Polish or Italian or anything like that. Uh, and, you know, they, they taught me how to that, that if, if a sauce takes six hours to make, then it takes six hours to make, and that's it. So what we do is we don't cut any corners. We put the best food that we can on the table. This food, you can tell, is made with love. Me, but you see, back in old Napoli, that's amazing.